In this video, I'm going to show you how to transition from a probability event to an odds and also to go from something that's given to you as the odds and make that a probability. So the first two are probabilities. So I want you to look at the way that we write probabilities. Probabilities are fractions and then odds events are ratios comparing two different numbers to each other so they are written differently and the odds should not be written as a fraction. So in the first two examples I'm going to find the odds in favor of and the odds against each event given its probability. So the first probability is 7 to 8. So that means there are 7 in favor events and then 8, the denominator for probability is always your total events. So if I want to do the um, odds in favor, then what I want to do is start with the 7 and then the other number is going to be the remaining events. So if we have 8 total events, this number is 1. So there's 7 in favor to 1 against the sum of your two numbers must add up to the total events. So then if I want to do the odds against something happening, then I want to stack my odds so that the 1 comes first. There's one event against it to 7 that it will. Again, the two numbers add up to the total 8. So let's do one more example like that. Probability that B happens is 1 out of 9. So there's one chance in favor out of nine total events. So my odds in favor are one and I want my other number to make sure that it adds up to give me the total nine. So this has to be an eight. So then the odds against the event happening are eight to one. So that's one of the biggest concepts to understand is that when you set up your odds it's part to part and the two parts add up to the total events. So now let's look at where we have in odds and we want to find the probability. So when I do my probability I need to do a fraction and I want my total events to go in the denominator and I want my events in favor to go on top. So if the odds are 5 to 8 in favor that means there's 5 in favor to 8 against. So my total events would be 5 plus 8 or 13 total. So my probability that this event will happen is 5 chances out of 13. If I'm told that the odds are 6 to 5 against it happening, then my total events are 11 total. So my denominator is 11 and then you have to get the correct number on top. So if this is an odds against, that means there's 6 against 5 in favor. We're trying to find the probability that it will happen. So we want to put 5 in the numerator and not the 6. So you want to put the events in favor on top. 